time a success it's all about data entry and in this case we are using microsoft access 2016 as you can see here in this 2016 this is the access that you are using uh, so you need to come and open ms access database 2016 once you open like that one automatically will give you some of the rich, uh, recent database as you can see we have that one for such a clear database have another blank one just come and click the blank one and now you put the name of the database you want here for example in my case i need to choose uh, such a uh, courage whereby it will be in a position to get all the information about the courage data entries for the maybe for the bookkeepings for the college uh, for the student uh, enrollment uh, for the student about the payments you can put and the the their way of collecting certificates among other things so once you type the file name there then come here and browse for the location to put the database and for me once i browse there i can choose for example we have this pc and now you can choose where you want to save your database for example if i need to dive d let's come and click dive d and now once you click dive d you can just type the file name or just leave it like that and then click open and now click ok once you click ok the extension for ms access files it is acc db that is the extension for all files created in database database or ms access which will be sold in the drive d then click create that is how you create a database once you create a database now you can come here you start creating now the table that you want you can see we have the table one here i need to come here i click there then i choose the information i want for example we have the uh, we have the short uh, text here and here for the short text i can just for example come i write uh, names uh, in case you did you need to do the currency just click uh, click to a text there and now put uh, currency as a payment for example uh, payments is all about the currency and now we have whereby you need to choose for example uh, date and time that is about the date and load for example date and load then you need to put that one so that it can give you room for about the date and time uh, why you need to choose for example a number just come here for example the index number index number and now we have where you need to put for example two option of yes or no option for example in this case you can either choose for example use and all non-use example who their age is beyond to be called a youth for example that is where you need to have those options so now you can come when you click this on uh, like this to represent yes when you don't tick to represent no now it will give you see that automatically you have given zero when you can put the figure that you want there uh, when you come here now you can come here you choose the date you want for example uh, today's date there and now you have the payment whereby you can come and put for example payment which is now this amount and you can put uh, now the name for example uh, Susanna like that and now we have this index which will be represented by auto number as for this one will be automatically get the auto number for that when you are through with your table you can just come here you close and automatically get this information do you want to save the design of this table just click yes and you give the table name uh, for example uh, student uh, information for example I need to know to type student information there are the table name and now click OK that is how you create a table using a table datasheet way we have two ways of creating a table we have this 
you can go to create and you have this one which is now a data sheet we have creating table and you have the table design as you click the table design you need to come here you know you put the, the information for this table for example in this case i can come here i put uh, about now the products uh, for example i need to do the uh, serial number serial number uh, in this case i can come here i put uh, for this one as a serial number we have for example i need auto number uh, which will be generated automatic then we have the the product uh, products we have services uh, whereby in this case uh, we have the services and we have the uh, installation uh, we have expired date expired date Uh, we have uh, payments uh, or prices in this case you have to check this one for a short time uh, now to expire date you just come you choose date and stock time the price you can just come here and you put currency uh, fault uh, Stroke none fault. So it means now that one you can choose, for example, yes or no option. And now you can come here, you put now, for example, uh, time uh, commenced. In this case, you can just come here, you choose. Uh, date and time and that is how you put the data type once you put those info those crucial information there in that uh, data type uh, in this uh, you can see this data type here you have the field name and you have the data type then you can right click here and put now a primary key as the outer number and now you can come and close here and you get do you want to save changes click yes and you save the the, the about the stock uh, information now the stock information there and now you can click ok that's how you create a table using data sheet and design view as you can see this one now for this one is for stock information i require to right click here and open once i open now it will give you me this information the same way now here and now I start putting my products for example i need to put a system unit and in case there is a service uh, we have about for example uh, a service of uh, repairing Uh, we have maybe installation, for example, uh, MS Office, uh, and Windows. MS Office and Windows. And we have the expiry date. In this case, uh, for example, that one, and we have the price here, for example, which is now around 60,700, and we have this one, which is uh, non faulty or faulty or non faulty. So when it is faulty, you put a tick and faulty, you just give like that one, and now come here. If it's faulty, just come here, you put that one. Uh, if it's not faulty, you can just ignore. Uh, then you have the time commence, you need to put that one, then you put that and you put zero, zero.
for this one. That's how you put the time. It automatically give you like that one. And that's how you create. Then once you are through the information, close. And that is how you create a table using design view and data sheet. Now let me open one example here as for this one. Uh, the, the, the recent one here, for example, this one. And now you can see we have three types of table there. We have the fixed asset for courage, products and services marketed, and we have the sale record. For example, I come to sale record. Now you can see the kind of a record I'm talking about, whereby you can see now we have already filled information there. And you can see them in a very clear way. Without no problem, you can see all the field information. This information, I need to use it now to do with queries. Queries answer more question about the table. I need to come here. For example, I need to display all people whose the agenda are female. Just click create. Just come to create. Then you have query wizard. And you have query design. Just click query design for example. And once you click query design, you will get these three tables. Choose the table that you want. For example, I need this table student. Uh, I need to put this uh, student record there. Uh, once I click the student record table, then I need to come here down and click add. I click close. Once you close there, you see the information query one there. Just double click there. Once you double click, highlight all these fields and drag them up to here. Just drag them up to there and just drop them. Once you drop them, you have a specific field here which is of good importance here. It is this gender. Just click under here. You can see we have criteria and we have gender just where they meet there click and for the example if i need a female or female or male i need to just for example if i need female i need a type f then i put asterisk I can put f then i put asterisk uh, all i can just put female in full to give me same information for this i just put female and uh, then after female what you need to do is not look uh, this uh, menu called design at the design menu choose run this run will perform the actions specified in a query just click run now you see my query one have only female uh, students as you can see these all them are female and you can see their names are female close this one here and just do you want to save changes the query click yes and give your query a name for example this one is a female query just type female query and click OK. That is how you do a simple on about the query. I can just come here and deal with another one. Create. I can choose to use query wizard here. And now with this query wizard here, you have simple query wizard. We have close tab and you have five deep breaks among others. Simple query wizard, for example, I click OK. I have my student record information. Uh, I can, for example, come here and I put, for example, all the field or maybe one field of another. Let's choose one field as you can see here. All I choose all of them. In case I need to ignore one, for example, uh, I need to ignore one information, for example, about the Dennis here. Uh, and this one you can just come here and ignore them. For example, if I need to ignore Dennis, uh, in this case, or maybe I need to put it there. I just come and put this information out of them. Then I click next. And then you have the summary or detailed. Do that detailed record. Then I come here. I need to display all the information. For example, P 
people who their payment or whose their courses is a diploma or certificate so i can just come here in this query i put now uh, a student uh, whose courses are certificate certificate and then you can just click uh, finish once you click finish you can just come here open and once you open you can see and uh, this one for this um, student you will see some of the information but in this case maybe depending on what you have done you need not to complete but what you need to do you need to modify what is the most crucial you need to modify this one so that you can get the right information so you can either come to design and now come here get the room for a uh, writing certificate or well, you can write that and put aesthetic automatically get all that one and click run and get all those people who their courses a certificate just close and click yes to save that is how you create a query uh, wizard